Hello to everyone who's been listening to the Legends of the Old West podcast. I'm the host and producer, Chris Wimmer. I'm here with the exhibits director of Deadwood History, Daryl Nelson. We're gonna do a quick little summary for you about the legacies of two polar opposite figures in Deadwood History. On the quote unquote good side, W.E. Adams, who has numerous buildings in town that bear his name. And on the quote unquote bad side, Al Swearingen, who I'm sure many of you are familiar with, not only just from listening to this podcast, maybe your own research, but of course the Deadwood TV show. So let's start with Adams. So what is the lasting legacy of W.E. Adams? Uh, in the town of Deadwood itself, there are a number of buildings that have his name. Sure. Uh, as, a, as a mayor and a leader, uh, he, he began a number of ventures that still are, are being played out today. But most importantly for us, um, he was a very wealthy man, he left a great deal of wealth to his widow, right. who then invested money uh, well and established a foundation. And we are t t still, we among many arts and, and, and uh, civic organizations, receiving money from that foundation. So right. their legacy continues vividly up to the present. Right, she, she was one of the early investors in Disney and IBM, right. and so that money is still rolling in and still helping to, to complete different projects and yes. to help and to help fund different right. initiatives here in Deadwood. So on the on the other side of the spectrum is Al Swearingen, of course. So he, what kind of legacy do we have for Al? I think would have been forgotten except by local scholars right. had it not been for the HBO series in which he, he was portrayed right. uh, by Ian McShane powerfully, Wonderful intriguingly. Performance, yeah. and, and I think a lesser actor couldn't have made him as, as alive, but he's an electric character and you don't know what he's gonna do uh, and he's layered, you get the impression that there's more to this guy than just doing mean things. Right, right, um, but at the same time, we, yeah, we probably wouldn't know who he was. Right. Just with his operation to the Gem Saloon, he left in 1899 after the third fire to his, to his Gem Theater, yeah. uh, and then he was gone from Deadwood, and so he probably would have been forgotten after that. Yeah, I think so. Um, so I guess it's a tribute to the power of stories, right. and I, w I would argue that uh, is there a way to include the other part of the spectrum? Uh, in, in the entertainment world, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a writer and know how to craft a character in that way. But, uh, but you're right, they, they, we are, we're still fascinated with that character. They both have incredible lasting legacies here. One for all the initiatives you can still see around town and one predominantly maybe because of the entertainment industry. Right, right. And, and uh, it, I, I wonder what, what, what the actual Swearingen thought. He might have been a simple man. He, he might have had a, a narrow focus. Um, we can't say, but the HBO series brought him to life in a way that is very compelling. And Absolutely. I would be interested to see what they would do with a character like Adams. Probably have to, to smudge him a bit yeah, uh, to, get, to suggest who's And in fact, he probably was, was not that perfect. No, of course. Yeah, as, as we talked about, certainly anyone who listens to the podcast, you'll hear more about the life of W.E. Adams. And who knows, maybe the creators of the, of the HBO show, oh, if they ever get those movies made, maybe Adams will make a minor appearance. Well, if they ask me, I will suggest that you include Adams in some way. <laughs> we'll hope against hope for that. Thank you, everyone, for watching. We'll see you next time.